deep song. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah. Nolan. Yeah, Nolan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, I'll, I'll speak to the vocals. What an unusual and interesting quality of vocal on that. I, I was actually pretty drawn to it, and I have to say, just uh, on how it was recorded, I appreciated the fact that I could understand every word. So. Oh, good point, and because uh, we've heard a few of his songs before, and they they, they seem to vary uh, in style and 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 sound vocals that sort of thing, but this one in particular, wow, like this was pretty 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 deep. So I was uh, really impressed with it and uh, enjoyed it. But yeah, it was just uh, kind of really kind of kind of speaks to you, kind of really makes you think about uh, certain things in a different way. Absolutely, it, it it deserves a second or third listening. So right on. So the next band we're going to get into is off their new album. This is the Marbles Jackson. And this one's called Murder Mile Sunshine. Dig this.
All right, The Marbles Jackson with Murder Mile Sunshine. Now, I really like this song, and when I did talk to them, uh, this was uh, one of the shorter songs on the album because they said all their songs are pretty long. They ended up chopping them down to about half the length they normally would. Otherwise, they'd have like a double or triple C release. Wow. Wow. So. Uh, I I found that song fascinating. It, uh, on the one hand, it sounded like you had the psychedelia of, you know, like the very first Traffic album or maybe an early Moody Blues album. And then you've got this kind of mazy star like angst and desperation going over the top of it. Uh, great music. I really enjoyed it. I did too, and I don't have much to add to what you just said. <laughs> just harmonically and how it was structured, I loved how it, it would just sort of suspend, and you just wondered when it was going to resolve, and then it finally resolved, which was just, it was such an awesome effect. Just, I love that song. Right on. So next up, we're going to move into something just uh, a little bit uh, heavier, and this is another one by the band Dharma called Wicker Man. Dig this. with Wicker Man and Catherine think it right on the break we did play this one before I went to play their song Perpetual Motion but this is still a really good rocking tune I really do like this tune I mean there's a lot of power behind it these guys be arcing flux so the, the the influence kind of sound kind of carry over to this band but they're still different enough that it sounds really cool yeah really good arrangement with the guitars lots of power great tune I enjoyed it yeah great energy just 
Yeah, all around great tune. Can I take can I take a second and just shout out to our listeners? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun having you guys uh, participate on Twitter with us. I keep seeing uh, all these really wonderful descriptions of the songs that we're listening to, and I read those and go, "Wow, why didn't I think of that?" <laughs> I, I should have said that on air. What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, no, no, I totally agree, and I do appreciate it as well. And and you you don't have to ask. You can just give a shout to the listeners. Like, <laughs> it's, it's not like we're gonna say no. You know, I was like, I, I I never know how our timing is going. But anyway, it's it's been great fun tonight, uh, <laughs> tweeting with everybody. Can't give a shout. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. I quit. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> the, the 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 shoe has changed puts there, no one. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna get to an artist. His name is Lee Christian, and he used to front a band called Smilex, which we played a few times in the past. Now this is his solo project. So the song is called That Devil. Dig this, Lee Christian. <laughs> 